this guy, it's like he's a Navy SEAL, you know, because, you know, he was a leader and he was willing to take the point and stand out there and, and defend his data. Finally, in 2005, uh, Gunter Bowden at Temple University did a, what I think is an absolutely brilliant and beautiful study that corroborates, and this is the first settlement study, if you will. And what he did was he, he uh, recruited 10 people with diabetes on medication, and he brought them into a metabolic ward where he could do this safely. And for a week, he had them eat from a buffet, choose as much food as they wanted to eat from a buffet of very nice, good foods that were rich in carbohydrates and relatively low in fat. And they monitored what they ate, and they ate about 3,100 calories per day. Now, these are severely overweight individuals, and they held their weight stable, and they measured their blood glucose, which is shown in the top panel here in the black, and their blood insulin levels, shown here. So high glucose, and this is millimolar glucose. Normal glucose is five and a half. The upper limit of normal is five and a half. So this is where no, normal is. And these people have, were running glucoses across the day around or above 200 milli, milligrams per deciliter, so about twice normal. And then they took away all the carbs from the food, but still had very good, delicious foods out there, and they could eat from the, 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 the buffet and had them eat as much as they wanted to, and they spontaneously reduced their calorie intake by 1,000 calories a day, which is exactly what Jeff had seen when we predicted in that 2008 study that we published. So they reduced their, their calorie intake by 1,000 calories a day, and yet they reported better satiety. And in two weeks, when they went back and did their blood glucoses, and these are blood glucoses done every two hours across 24 hours, and looked at their insulin levels, they had a dramatic reduction. And remember, five and a half is the upper limit of normal. So upper limit of normal is here. These are their glucoses after just two weeks of the ketogenic diet. And you can see that they're in range, in the normal range, most of the day after just two weeks. And they'd only lost two kilograms of weight loss, only two kilograms of weight. This is not a rapid weight loss diet. You know, it's not designed to be weight loss. It's to be a metabolic uh, improvement diet, if you will. And yet they had markedly reduced blood glucoses, but at a markedly lower insulin level, if you'll see in the lower panel in blue. Now, the only way you can reduce your blood glucose and have with lower insulins is you have to improve your insulin sensitivity. And again, this is very early in the adaptation process and things get better with time. This was, again, a metabolic ward study. They took away most of their, more than half of their medicines in the first two weeks. This, when you in, initiate this diet in somebody with diabetes or severe hypertension, it's metabolic rock and roll. Things change quickly. And it's not safe to do this as an outpatient unless or until some guy from Silicon Valley comes along and says, let's make an app and put it in people's pockets and we'll interact with them every day. So this is how Verta got started. The key technology here is you can do this safely in outpatients if you have constant communication and, and expert physicians man and coaches managing that patient. Basically, this is a patient-centric program and a patient-centric app. You know, this is not an app that's designed for billing and, and yeah, we need to start learning how to do that, but it's really designed with having the coach in the upper right-hand corner and the doctor in the lower right-hand corner interacting with the patients, the patient monitoring data and, and logging it in through the app and getting access to their data through the app so they see all their data. 